Hello, my name is Teacher Audrey from TeacherAudrey123 at gmail.com. If we haven't met, welcome to my channel. You will find videos about teaching ESL online, creating systems, and inspiration to keep on keeping on. Today, this video is for teachers who are thinking about applying for VIP Kid or who have started the process and are just stuck. I am going to share with you six ways to successfully succeed in the VIP Kid hiring process. To start off, I would like to quote Nixon Waterman. Say I will and then stick to it. That is the only way to do it. In the VIP Kid process, there is a lot of things to learn to become a successful ESL online teacher, but with determination, I am confident that you can finish to the end. Now, step one is to be determined. It is important to know that the VIP Kid hiring process is like learning to ride a bike. It is at first a little bit difficult and you might make some crashes and you might feel like you're going to give up. But that is why it's important to determine that you are going to finish and start working for the company. I always suggest to my referrals that they figure out why they want to work from home and start this endeavor. This way they can refer back to it as they go through the ins and outs of becoming hired with VIB Kid. I also recommend that you only give yourself up to three weeks to finish the hiring process because if you don't you can get distracted and let life get in the way. Now the second tip is prepare. It is important to watch through all the training videos and read through the materials. And as you watch, you will want to make notes about the different strategies and tips that they give for teaching on the VIP Kid platform. I also recommend watching one or two YouTube videos to help give an idea of how different teachers do different things. I do want to caution you though, not to spend a lot of time watching um, hours and hours of videos because this can keep you from spending important time preparing for your actual demo lessons and mock lessons. So prepare, get familiar with the ideas, and then we can start with tip three, practice, practice, practice. It is now time to apply what we have learned to the slides. In the VIP Kid portal, you will be able to find a practice classroom and it will show the slides of your demo and your mock classes. My suggestion is to go through each slide one by one and practice using the strategies that you learned as you were preparing. Future videos, you will find content related to these topics to help you. But for now, reference back to your portal. As you are practicing, number one, I suggest that you do the stair step method. This method is one that I like whenever I study or memorize anything. I start with the first block and that's the welcome slide. So I'll say, hello, my name is Teacher Audrey. What is your name? Hello, Sally. Then I will go to slide two, circle ball. Good job. When you do a good job, you get a star. Yay, one star. Then I will go back and I will do one and two together. Hello, my name is Teacher Audrey. What is your name? Hello, Sally. How old are you? 
I am six. Click next page. Circle ball. Good job. When you do a good job, you get a star. Now I click and go to the next page. I review it. I figure out what I'm going to do. Hmm. We're teaching them star, star. Then, once I know and practice two times on this slide, I will go back and I'll do one, two, three. Then I'll do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this will help um, solidify the areas you're struggling with on previous slides because you're doing it again and again and you're learning how it builds up on each other. I will, in my next video, give you a walkthrough of how I use this approach in my lessons. And then my next, my last um, point on practicing is record yourself. Make sure you're holding things in front of the camera. Make sure you're looking at the camera. Make sure, just make sure you like how you're looking and don't laugh at yourself too much. Then after you've done the step by step by step, I recommend going through one whole time and recording yourself. Then you can send it to me or whoever's your coach and ask them to watch it and give you pointers on where you on what you did well and what you could improve before your actual demo or mock. My next tip is it's not about perfection. It's not. The IP kid wants to see that you are a learner. They are able to tell this by seeing how you teach. Are you able to take the concepts that you learned in the training material, TPR, repetition, props, smile, energy, and put it in your classroom? They are going to realize that you are just starting out riding this bike and it's going to be wobbly. But when they see an attempt that you are doing all the different things, they are going to see that you are a serious teacher who will actually be a great fit for their company. So just remember to um, do your best and apply what you know. My next tip is make sure you get support. There are two ways of getting support with VIP Kid. After you pass your demo video, you have the option of having a coaching session with a staff worker from VIP Kid. And it is a group setting and you guys get to practice some of the concepts and ask questions. And there's also many VIP Kid teachers like myself who are recruiting and coaching new teachers through the process. And VIP Kid gives us a little amount for helping each teacher along the way. And we want to return that favor and that thanks by helping support you so you will be successful and can in the future help other teachers. So be sure to either email me or whoever you would like to help you on this journey. This will help you um, with any uncertainties. It will, we can be your cheerleader and um, just a community so we can help each other get to the finish line. And my very last tip is have fun. So embrace your mistakes and remember that that is how we learn. I also just know that if you don't pass the demo or the mock on your first try, you can always try again. And remember that this hiring process is allowing you to take off running. Once you've signed that contract and get your first booking, you will be fully equipped to be an ESL online teacher for VIP Kid. I want to leave you with this quote that I find very helpful. You can't finish what you don't start. 
and you should never start what you are not committed to finish. So I just challenge you to be committed to finish the hiring process and becoming a teacher at VIP Kid. It will be worth it. You will love it. And even after you get through this process, new opportunities will blossom and allow you to just have a new adventure. So once again, if you have any questions, email me at teacheraudrey at and if you and once again, if you have any questions, email me at teacheraudrey123 at gmail.com. In the comments below, let me know what action are you going to take today to finish that application process. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with anybody that you think would be interested in working online. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.